Well, there it is. <clears throat> August 9th, Monday. Monday morning. Of course, it's not my Monday morning. Oh, what a beautiful morning today. Whew. Well, you saw some of that video that I took last night. I didn't get home till right about 11.30. It's kind of slow going up the lake. Uh, but that was a good hike. But here we got another nice day. I have to get out and got to go up to Dex. I got his mail. They dropped off yesterday. They were going to drop it off up there yesterday, but it's too rough to get in up there. So I'm going to take it up today. And uh, a group of Sierra Clubbers are supposed to be in sometime today, so I'll probably stop and visit them. Yesterday, those Jim Arrower had a group over here, just two people in an airplane, and he's a guy that's up on Stony. Up to them, and a party of two people, they had a a raft, they're going to go down the river, but it's kind of a catamaran, just two pontoons and with a platform kind of deal. And So I'm going to go up lake today. Boy, beautiful lake, home. I should be out there now, but God, I didn't get to bed after midnight last night. And it'll be another late night tonight, I'm sure. So. But what's well, nice now, boy, the lake's calm. i got to get up there and get some more video with the lake. You're airplane in the distance. Probably somebody's coming in this morning. Today, what this, I'll tell you what the weather is this morning. It's about 9 o'clock, well, nine, about 9.30 now. At 8 o'clock, uh, 48 degrees, and it was 62 for a high yesterday, low 42. You can see the skies are clear. There's a trace of precip. What I normally give is the high and low temperature, current temperature, winds, ceiling. Visibility, precip, lake condition, dry and wet bulb. It's a sling psychrometer that you sling around. That gives you your then the difference in the ones that got a little cotton sock that you get water on. So as it evaporates, as fast as it cools down that thermometer, so you get a difference between the two thermometers. There's two little thermometers on there. You got a dry bulb, it was 50, wet bulb was 48, and that gives you a relative humidity of 87% and a dew point of 46. Dew point is where precipitation starts to form in the air. Here the dew point was about five, four degrees below. Our timber setting was 3060, I get that from Dick. And uh, then I always record to the lake level is 40 inches, it was as high as it has been high as I've seen it. And lake temperature was 42 degrees, 52 degrees. Yesterday was 55 degrees. It's been around. It runs about 54, 55, 53. I don't know if I'd seen it 52 before. This morning there was about there was seven big uh, doll sheep up here on the by the saddle behind the cabin. Time I got my binoculars out. Four or five of them already went through the saddle, and I just got two of them. I threw my spot and scope you gave me. I was looking at those this morning. A little ram, and uh, there's that airplane. It's pretty high. I'm going to be Jim Harrower taking his clients in. Well, I'm going to get some of my stuff straightened around get out and get enjoying this day again man but when you don't get into midnight you can't expect to jump out of bed and get going right again so I'll probably won't get into it late again tomorrow night so I mean tonight so here I'm getting ready to go out for the day probably won't be back till late beautiful there there's the kind Take some video out on the lake today. I got my blue bag full of all my gear. That kind of greenish bag is what I put the video camera in. And also got Dick's mail in. I got that bucket. I got all kinds of fishing stuff and berry picking stuff in that. That's work.
I was on last night. There's the peak I was on last night. A little calmer than last night. That's where I went up last night. Of that gulch to the right. It was right on that little spot. Took some video and then went on up that ridge to that peak. What the hell? It'd be nice up there today. There you can see Emerson Creek Falls. I'm gonna pack the radio this video camera up there.
There's Jim T. Garden changing Brooks' diaper here on the... Hey, you're pretty good at that, Jim. Yeah, if it wasn't for Velcro, I wouldn't have a chance. Are you doing any good down there, Dick? So you got a half a bucket already. Come here and shoot up the up the hill here. Boy, they look thick with berries there. I'll take a little. Oh yeah, there's some nice berries in there. See if I can get them. Blueberries do that, son. They use the Pardon? I say blueberries do that, son. They just have peculiar looking. It must be part of the scheme of things for blueberries, huh? For the color, culture, it seems to be, I guess. And there's Dick's. What? You're getting your berry picking technique on tape, Dick. Yeah. So you kind of just uh, two handed there, huh? Kind of sort of mad if they're too thick, you know, and your rake will get tangled up in them. Well, then you just pull them out one at a time and pick them off. Well, you keep your berries a little cleaner, eh? Well, I better get to picking.
This is Herb Terry's cabin. Built in the early, uh, late 50s. And inside of an old hang cabin. Some of the old names on the old bunks. I guess what they did here was they took cut their shirt tails off when they were different animals. Here we go. Ingle Hill Junior. Got all the black bear, three caribou, one parky squirrel. out of the Amazon and they were catching their pay down in a burlap. Yeah? Yeah. The last little bit. Mm-hmm. No. Some of these things are good for you. Good roughage. <laughs> Good. So a lot of the trash sticks to the burlap, huh, Dick? Yeah, it does. Sticks to the burlap. Picking out some of them green ones. That's on your ladder. Piece of gas can, flattened down.
And there's the clean buried deposit. They don't winnow as well either. No, they, they, don't. they, they don't. don't. They don't clean up as good as one of those. Mm-hmm. Nice. You're going to start turning your purples. Your hand is purple here shortly. That's right. Getting a little bit of stain on it now. Too stained for you've been using it a lot of for berry picking? Not too much, huh? Reinforce the handle there. Yeah, I did. She broke out. Now mine looks dry on here. Yeah, they are. Mine, um, Josh, them around more and got them mashed up a little more than that. Maybe your berry picker is a. Maybe you are a, a gentler berry picker. If you win a smooth way, we can give the uh, winnowing trick run out there to Bowden. So you don't you normally have a uh, fire in the morning, or do you? Oh, in the morning, oh yeah. Mm -hmm. Every morning you have fire. Oh yeah. So that's what you cook on it, I guess. But, I but a, in uh, warm weather like this, I certainly don't have a fire. No, mm -hmm. Sometimes not even in the evening, you know, if it's real warm, I don't do mm -hmm. But in the mornings you always build a fire. Oh, yeah. Right in the morning. I just turn on the propane. Yeah. <laughs> Pretty handy, huh? Yeah, that is, you know, in Yellowstone we didn't have propane. This is all either a little Coleman stove or yeah. uh, wood stove. Mm -hmm. That's propane's pretty handy. That's why they say it gets cooking with gas. That was right. cooking with gas. And it is pretty handy little. Especially when you want to heat up water. You know, and with me, if I get sleepy, I have to fire up some water and get some tea going. <laughs> so most folks will cross the list. Hey, they caught a few dollies. Yeah, they ain't. Uh -huh. yeah. I'm going to have to start getting out and get, catching some fish. Mm. Swing to Sierra Club and um, picking berries and trying to catch a fish. i got to i got to catch a few of those dollies. I haven't had a dolly here on the lake yet. Mm. You call one out here on your set line. Yeah. Nice one too. Now, do you look? Do you prefer them over lake trout for eating, or? Is no, this different? not really. Uh, but the one uh, size I caught, I just cut them in half, uh, leave the head on, and just buy each each half. Put them both in big slots, you know. Mm-hmm. Uh, you just flip them out. You don't flame them out. Oh no, just just sort of them in two in the middle. Well, you're talking lengthways or just right oh, down there? Oh, crosswise. Crosswise. Oh, you just imagine, just cook them mm -hmm. solid each side? Yeah, I just uh, lay them in on one side and cross them over and do that. Mm -hmm. That's how I did that. I caught a nice rainbow the other yeah. day.
Some days are, are built up and even slip on when it's put together, you know, like when we drive and stuff like that. Mm. They, they come in the side on overhead tracks, you know, and just swing in, they just slap on and put the catch through them and cinch it up. Hmm. But you can easily see where a lot of trouble originates in the factory, like, like things coming loose, you know. Oh, you mean uh, later Put, on? Putting it together. I've heard the cat owner say, boy, you'd make money if you just tore that thing down and, and put it together right when it was new. You know, instead of waiting until something, <coughs> something fails and it's uh, a fault of something being loose, you know, that come loose and then the mm -hmm. holes wear and, and parts wear and all that sort of stuff. And that is not very good. But you know, so they you, you saw where they maybe weren't awful careful when they were putting that thing together. Then. Well, yeah, they're using impact wrenches, you know. And well, the impact wrench it, it, over a period of time, if it's not checked, well, she got a little bit weak on tightening. Mm -hmm. She just not, she don't get tight. That's all. <coughs> and you know who put the tracks on? One little old guy by himself. Oh really? Yeah. What do they just wrap around or something? They bolt them together or something? Or no, there's a master pin that goes in to the two holding the line up the two ends, you know, and drive the pins through. Hmm. Master pin. Hmm. Yeah, of course he had a machinery happening, but he did it by himself. Yeah, this a little funny guy, he just put it in. And you know, when they make the final adjustments, how do they do that? And how do they paint them? How do they paint them? Do they just dip them or something? 
No, they have like a grease pit, you know, and, they're, and, they're, and the cats are filled with that on steel plates and they're oiled. Plates are in a chain to the anchor back here and it's running. Tracks are spinning on the plates and guy gets in there. Spraying tracks and wheat and rollers and all that sort of stuff that are all turning, you know. Oh really? He sprayed yeah. as they're turning? Yeah, he sprays it while she's turning. <coughs> hmm. Maybe it sounds kind of cool, huh? Well, you'd think that turning that it would, um, the paint would just kind of get wore off right there. Hmm. Well, it don't get wore off where it's not supposed to, where it's not supposed to be painted like that. Hmm. Yeah. That's a nice job. Hmm. And then when they make all the final adjustments, and, um, then it's, um, it's back into the wall, and there's a whole big anchor back there, and, and they're on plates there, and they're running, and tracks are spinning, and the guy climbing around on the, and uh, just missing that, and everything, you know, to get it. Simple. They, they turn out quite a few of them uh, caterpillars every day, huh? Oh, I don't know how many they turned out in the day, but they were sure still working on it. But I don't know how we do it these days because they're a real long together with a kind of a cat than men. But they claim, oh, right. they claim they're easier to maintain now, so they're easier. No doubt they're easier and faster to put together. Mm -hmm. so. so you used to operate cat then? Oh yeah. Worked on them. Mechanic, let's And Michelle. Winter time, I took on the job with uh, what's called special services. He was keeping a uh, section of with me. Is that all? I think we did it. Let's um, let's um, clean the bucket out a little bit and pour them in now. Okay, well, then you might as well keep half of them. Oh, no, I got a bucket and a half here, and I will can get more any time. <laughs> Why don't we, um, you take these home and uh, use them and, uh... We just wash them out in the lake, you think? I, I just, just put them in the... What's that? Take my hand, pick along and wash it out, too. Huh? I don't know it. Jack. Was that made out of dick, a serpican? Serpican. And you just cut that wire, those wires, and run them through there on the bottom, huh? Mm hmm. And there's the manufactured kind. I think Dick's is just as good, if not better, eh? Hey? So you've picked a few gallons of berries with that picker. Yeah. 